right, we are back on Play It Forward. Akiko Izumitani. Akiko Izumitani. I like saying your name. Um, writer, director, producer of Yae Blind Samurai Woman. Thank you so much for being on the show. Hi, it's, thank you for having me. <laughs> it's lovely to have you. Do you want to introduce yourself or the movie in any way before we begin? Um, my name is Akiko Izumitani. Um, I was born and raised in Japan and came to the United States in 96 to pursue my filmmaking career in Hollywood. And I recently uh, wrote, co-wrote and produced and directed a short film called Yae Blind Samurai Woman. And it's action packed uh, with a little fantasy film. Yeah. It's great. I mean, it's incredibly high production value. The sword play is ridiculous. Um, it's very well shot. It's a great storyline. Um, the story itself is about a blind woman with a special power who seeks vengeance, revenge on the killer of her father, who was killed by a man seeking revenge because he killed his father. So the first question of Play It Forward is what is the inspiration for the story in your life? How did it come out of your life? All of my films are usually kind of showing the different perspectives and, you know, it always has a rational idea. And uh, I... Rational idea? Like Rashomon, it, it's a movie directed by Akira Kurosawa, and it's about one event, but like, you know, the story is told by three different people. And it's like completely different perspectives. Um, so, you know, I was born and raised in Japan, and it's, you know, in the country, like in, in Japan, there are only Japanese people. And after I came to the US, um, I saw so many different kinds of people, like, you know, different races and different ethnic backgrounds and the culture and religions and everybody's like so different. And everybody has a different idea of their moral or justice. And I was kind of curious, uh, what is justice and like, how do you define justice? Because everybody does what they do because they believe that's why right, well that's correct action for them but sometimes it could be portrayed as a bad things for other people or you know some people actually think it's evil act no matter how that person did you know believe it was the right thing so i was kind of curious to show the story that you know one person's justice is completely like you know evil act for other people and um I always kind of like curious about writing a samurai story. So my co-writer, um, I asked him like, I, I'm, I'm interested in writing a samurai story. And I want to show uh, the story that make people think like, is, you know, is your justice right or right for other people? And I wanted, uh, you know, question the audience, like, you know, what you believe might not be the right things for others. So, yeah, that's the reason I decided to write that story. It's really cool because, you know, me as a viewer um, watching your film, to me, it was more about self-sacrifice, honor, and virtue rather than justice. Mm -hmm. To me the characters were both seeking justice in their own minds and each ultimately took a different action. So one killed and one spared or, and even saved the killer of their father. And so both took different acts, but in watching the movie, it became there was clearly the juxtaposition between the two choices that the, both the characters made. And in fact, the character that she spares was the one to recognize and honor her by saying she has taken the most valiant act as a samurai 
to spare a life and to save a life. And she herself says that this cycle must end. So she puts an end to a vicious cycle and she is seen as the hero. Mm -hmm. It's um, this Grace is a you know character that I like to be like you know to take a high road and has an owner and uh, I mean I I had this discussion with my actress about this character. I, I think she was really really trying to kill him in the beginning, and that's why she had this quote like, "Okay, I'm going to fake that uh, I'm weak and." I'm going to read how he's going to move so I can actually kill him. But then by doing so, she starts realizing this person is not actually evil person. He's actually nice. He he has a good reason to kill her father. And uh, he cares about her. He worries about her safety. So she has just so much hatred toward him. But at the same time, she says, feeling like he is actually has good nature so it was a big decision for her and I think that came from her personality like she was raised right by her father uh, and you know she has this self-sacrifice that she is willing to save people even though that will make her go blind and you know since she starts losing her eyesight, like she's almost almost blind. So that means she's been saving many, many people. So she made this big decision to save this person. But I think that really triggered her is when he also did the self-sacrifice. He said, like, you have a right to kill me okay. and burn this. So you not gonna be punished. So she realized I can kill this guy. But then the hate keeps going on and maybe his family is going to do the same thing. And she just she just knew that hate needed to be ended at the moment. So she chose the you know high road and a lot of us can do it. And she's the kind of character I like to be. And I hope, you know, everybody wants to be so yeah that's the reason that we decided to do that way I, I guess we wanted to create certain uh moral model that you know girls can look up to yeah everybody can and the the heroic act becomes compassion And yeah. compassion <laughs> allows them both to see beyond themselves. She sees his heart. Mm -hmm. Yep. And he sees her as the ultimate I mean, family. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, back then, uh, samurai has this uh, order of conduct, like samurai conduct. But uh, also, they wanted, if, you know, daughters of samurai, they wanted to follow the you know, certain uh, samurai conduct. And he recognized her as a uh, samurai. I mean, technically, you know, female uh, woman didn't carry sword, but he definitely recognized she is a daughter of samurai. We've touched upon it a little bit, but as a viewer now yourself, looking back at the work, reflecting on it, watching it, what do you see the message of the movie? I was just saying, what is justice? <laughs> For sure. like, um, I mean, I, I want people to, you know, not to judge people by their behavior very quickly because you don't know what, why they're doing it or what kind of background they have. And I, I want people to try to understand the different you know different opinion from others and i don't want people to be like um i don't know recognize other people that they have with a different opinions so as enemy like i want people to have a compassion and the kindness trying to understand other people's opinion and see if you get me in the halfway or at least try to understand them so i guess that was my message in the film <laughs> I mean, uh, definitely be, nice, be kind to others. <laughs> what is justice? Um, 
that's a, that's the question. I mean, nobody knows. I mean, justice could be. I think it's a convenient way to make yourself feel better in a way, because that justice that you define can be evil act for other people. So it, it's really the moral conduct that you uh, you decide and no, it shouldn't be decided by other people. Hmm. But that became a little bit too <laughs> philosophical. <laughs> I know this is the nature of the show. You know, the nature of Play It Forward is philosophical. We want to talk about these issues and that are, you know, the nature of art and filmmaking is philosophical. And so we have a really special opportunity to talk with the makers and about their films. Um, so we this is this is the heart of uh, the story uh, here. And I think what you've just shared is really important because, you know, justice sounds like a great word. We but it's a moral idea and moral ideas and morals are are very different. Um however among different people but there are uh, underlying morals that everyone shares so how do we inform a common sense of justice with a common sense of morality and to me um your film is saying well morality and justice has to be um looked at through the lens of love and mm -hmm. compassion and um that brings a whole new meaning to the sense of justice yeah also for me uh this is not the main thing i wanted to say but kind of like a sub for me but i wanted people not to judge people like you know like female uh who looks like weak person you know she has con she is considered to be to have a disability because she's blind and uh, especially I guess in the traditional Japanese way uh, a lot of people will assume like you know women are weaker and you know especially that that actress is like so petite so I wanted people to think you know she's very weak and she needed some support and then you know the way I showed it because she was faking, she was faking like, oh, I need help, I need support, but like actually she's been trained, like her father trained her so she can survive by herself. And I mean, mentally, physically, her father was a strong support, but then when he's gone, she could still survive. And then she still has this like, you know, explosive feeling that she can like show to the other people. So um, I think, you know, in, reality too a lot of people will assume uh you know tiny female like you know oh she's not strong but like that's not true like we 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 can be independent we don't need you know i mean we need support but like you know we don't we're not as, as weak as other people think <laughs> and i kind of wanted to send a message because i often feel that in the film industry <laughs> I'm really glad you said that, Akiko. I think that's really critical to the storyline as well and the message of the movie. I mean, it is about power and how you really define power, similarly to the question of what is justice, what is power? And, you know, that redefined in a different context um, that the movie, you know, portrays that we've discussed is really critical and a, an important message that, you know, I think um, we all as humans want to hear, you know. Um, last question. How have you personally been changed since you've made the movie? Um, I research a lot for this film. So I think I appreciate the Japanese culture more than before. Um, and really understood like certain movement on some of my people, uh, why they did it, how they behave. And um, I think it made me appreciate more of my culture. Because, you know, I came to Hollywood thinking I'm going to make Hollywood movies. And, <laughs> and um, 
I guess I didn't. I mean, I did, but not as much as you know I should have. And I um, definitely, um, I think I understood the virtue of Japanese people more. Um, and I think I, I was actually surprised how comfortable I was making this, you know, uh, uh, action film, uh, samurai film because I felt like it was so natural and, you know, I feel like, like I wasn't meant to make when I was making. And before that, I didn't think about making samurai film, but after I watched way too many Hollywood movies with samurai singing, and I was kind of like, ooh, that's not how we do it. And I wanted to show the world, like, uh, this is a way we should make a samurai film in English language. So I think it made me better filmmaker and I learned a lot. Uh, def definitely learned how to talk to actors. And that was like the most fantastic experience for me. Mm. So two follow-up questions. One is it sounds like you're saying you may have had um, now, you may have more compassion and acceptance for your own Japanese background. Is that true? I think so. Okay. <laughs> I, mean, well, I I was more of a Hollywood. So, yeah. so now I appreciate my culture more than before. <laughs> and um, the ability to talk to actors, what did you learn? Uh, we really discuss about the character, like each line. Uh, we prep a lot. We we spend six months prepping the choreography, um, and then one month for the acting rehearsal. And we discuss each line, like why are they saying this? What kind of emotion, you know, uh, status they are in? Um, and sometimes, you know, actors have a different idea and, and then because I wrote, I, I explained to them like, no, uh, this person is saying this, he, he just, you know, saying this for this reason or she's saying this because she is planning this. And uh, it was so nice that we really discussed and that made the performance like 100% better. Um, and then I could, trust that so when we are on set I didn't have to do too much work with actor because they already prepped so much and uh, uh, but it was I kind of thought like wow like having the right actors who is willing to put their 100% energy and effort was so important because I don't think I could have made this you know with actors who are not willing to use their own time to practice choreography because it was you know it was very difficult to do i get it i get it um that's great akiko izumatani filmmaker the film is ia blind samurai woman and we will keep everyone posted on where they can check it out um thank you so much for joining us akiko it was a pleasure thank you so much all right, till next time, everybody.